Ads versus reviews. What to trust and what to kind of say, uh, see you later. Let's talk about it. Let's dig into it. And we've got a controversial case right now. Hey, it's me, Baxter. And me, Jonathan. Here at Casino Guitars. We're coming at you um, soft and fluffy. Ooh, that's a good one. That's good. I was looking fluffy. at your beard. Fluffy. Anyway, so right now, hot, <laughs> hot in the news, hot in the news takes right now. Aeroband guitars, um, they're, they're they're suing some people. Yeah, or at least they're talking about it. Uh, they're at least sending threatening letters. I don't know. Well, don't we've know been sent threatening letters from major guitar uh, much better people resellers than Aeroband <laughs> before too. We've been yeah. we've been sent that as well. I understand the YouTube fear of that. You say honest things, you get in trouble. But there's a rub to this one. There's a catch. So, yeah. so give me the breakdown. Well, who is this Aeroband stuff? Do you well, know apparently it it's like a MIDI guitar. Okay. So not really a guitar at all. Um, yeah, it's honest. And apparently it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I don't know. Well, we can say um, that because we didn't sign any contracts. No, nah, the, one, the one dude, the one guy, and I should have looked up his name, man. He's the guy with long hair and glasses. He, Oh, that guy. <laughs> he was the one. He was the guy who was like, yeah, this, the, he like turned him down three or four times and he said they kept messaging him. So he, it, the comments on it, he's like, they're like, uh, oh, wow, this, this guitar takes someone who can play the guitar and makes him sound like shit. And I was like, okay, <laughs> this is really good. Um, I'm already enjoying this more than I should normally enjoy um, but, but so that's, that's the deal, right? But apparently this company, they were doing a Kickstarter. Uh -huh. uh, and I guess they were doing the whole, I guess the basically normal thing of sending out sort of like contracts for product reviews on these things. Because, you know, we, we've talked about this before. I think it's common knowledge at this point. A lot of folks get paid to review things on, on YouTube. You well, let's, let's back up for a minute. Um, so contracts for product reviews, that sort of sends up a red flag for, wait, let's be careful about this review. If you're getting a contract to do a product review, I would, I would get an NDA. I get that, like we're gonna do an NDA product review where I can't talk about it until the product wants to be released. Sure. Maybe. But I'd be a little bit skeptical if I was sending a contract, it's like here, you can't release this if you don't like this. Well, and I think that was the rub here, right? I think a lot of these contracts, you know, well, just by whatever you feel about the contracts are, you know, hey, we're gonna work together, we're gonna pay you X amount, you know, here's your review, blah, blah. And um, the, the big one I saw where the guy didn't, didn't review the thing, he just, he just held up the contract kind of thing. Um, and said basically, hey, I don't, I don't do reviews where I'm not allowed to put out my review without the company sort of green lighting okay. it first. So this uh, company, and I get they're trying to launch a new product. They want to get glowing reviews. So they sent out a group and like, hey, you, we'll give you money. Money. We'll pay you. Yep. We will probably give you free product. And then you will be also to monetize this, not just through your YouTube channel, but also through your referral links. Correct. Or, you know, affiliate links and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, which is what a lot of people sort of confuse and forget that that's how a lot of YouTube monetization happens. You now, we right. fortunately are very point blank about ours. We are a guitar shop. We sell guitars. It's kind of weird that we, we don't have referral links because we buy the products so that you can buy them from our actual store. Or, <laughs> which I know it's or crazy. is the stupid folks we are, we send you to one of our favorite guitar shops. We do, do we do, do that? Sometimes. That have them. Yeah. We, she said doo doo. Doo doo. Um, we, we like to send that because that's just what we do and we're not very intelligent. We don't understand how the computer and the internet that's works. True. So we like to do that. So, 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 this, so some of these reviewers might be getting sued because if they sign this, but basically, they are breaking trust. Well, they're just saying, if you if you take this on and you review our product, this is with the Aero Band guitar MIDI controller thing, monstrosity. They were basically saying, if you say negative things that cost us sales, there could be legal action, <laughs> which is kind of ridiculous. But, okay, uh, but but I but okay, let's let me put myself in the perspective of the guitar company. The guitar company. So if I were to ask for you to do a review and send you this contract, you sign it, we're gonna pay you, we're gonna give you all the, the, the goods, the ability to make link money. I would expect you to abide by those rules. I, I do think there was a thing in the contract uh, where it seems, and obviously this is all anecdotal from, from YouTube videos, um, so who, who really knows? But, you know, hey, you don't wanna do this, you don't like the product, Here's you, you just ship it back to us. Yes, don't do it. And I know the one, the first video I watched, the guy shipped it back unopened. They tried to charge him shipping, and he's like, no, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> and they sent him a label, and he sent the thing back. 
Um, oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah, definitely. If, yeah. if the company tries to get you to pay for shipping, I'm 100% not okay with that. It's like but you no. bought this thing and you're a customer returning it, right? No, um, I'm, I'm kind of on the side of the company as far as if there's contracts and whatnot. So, and then, but then at that point, it's not really a review. It's an advertisement, right? To me, so you, so well, yeah, you're not doing a review at this point if you're if it's guaranteed glowing. And are you a reviewer at this point if what you do is mostly paid content as an advertisement? I mean, it's just it's it is a tricky, it's a tricky place to navigate where everything you're going to hear about a product is from someone who is paid to like try it out. And make a video. No, we, and we have to be super careful in our little world too, because like we do, we sell from all the major manufacturers, yeah. and we've done a few where we didn't really like them, and we get phone calls from their head of sales, and like, hey, so how's the weather? How's your kids? Why? Wow, what's up with that video? It sort of leads into that, or immediately, rah, 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 rah. Would you say though that that's opened up some good dialogue with some of these companies about what we like and what we don't like? Yes. Yeah, I think, I, so I think it's been a net positive, and we've we've learned a balancing act as we've right. done this for years now, and because because we love we love all the companies we work with, yeah. but we want to be able to have a fair and balanced opinion and voice when there is a piece that we're not hugely in love with, and sometimes there'll just be deafening silence <laughs> on I, certain I, products. Well, and I will say, you know, I hate that it, word. The guitar community is such a weird little inbred. Thing. And I don't even necessarily mean that bad, but like everybody's friends, everybody knows each other. One of the reviewers it's about it's that like everybody. Kentucky. Yeah, it's <laughs> and you married right into that. It's I fine. It. The old round, the family wreath, you know. God, um, <laughs> it's not a hey, tree. Mom, it's hey, sis. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, this guy even said one of the guys said, "Hey, you know, I do get products from my friend. The only time I've ever sent a video for someone to see before I released it is like it's my friends, and I'm proud of it, and I think this is great, and the product's great. Like, and I'm I'm sort of okay with that, right? As long as it's relatively transparent, and I think a lot of the channels are. There's probably still a few shady ones out there, um, not to name any names, but some of my favorite viewers, because we had this whole debacle before when we talked about like the, you know, some of the Acoustasonics and all that kind of stuff. We've done videos before, but yeah, we, and we we gotten some some heat with our companies too, but we we, but we had great dialogue about like why we thought something was like overly advertised, the clickbait message of it. There's also this thing called outrage bait. Like, you know, yes. like, if, you, if you say, like, this is the worst guitar ever, you're going to get lots of views. If it's the same as, like, this is the pedal board to end all pedal boards, this is the stinkiest guitar, it makes cat food taste great. You know, like, you're going to get views. I'm just saying, I think, I think the best ones to buy, knowing that most of these folks are getting paid, are the ones that aren't saying yay or nay on a product. They're just saying, here's what it does, here's the features. It might be for you if you're this player. It might be not for you if you're this type of player. Those are probably... There's some great YouTube the reviewers ones. that are authentic about it. They're out there. You know, and and there's, just you know, call Johnny. there's still a few that don't buy or don't get paid. They just buy the products. I saw that a lot with the last, the Tone Master Pro and um, some of the modelers. I, I saw a bunch of guys pop up. They're like, hey, I bought this Here's with my own money, you know, and I'm going to spend a month with it and I'm going to make a bunch of videos and, and we're going to see what happens. So, you know. It's, um, and well, then it gets into the trickier area too of like we even, you know, we look at guitar advertisements, mm -hmm. we look at reviews, then I look at all of my guitar publications that I read every day and still love them. I see that they're getting advertisements from all the major manufacturers, the minor manufacturers, the ones in between, but they still do product reviews. But the right. product reviews are usually really good. Most like, of the time. I haven't really seen like a, I haven't seen like a two star <laughs> review, and I don't Editors know how long. Pick a war. <laughs> no, but I really have uh, like, wow, look at this the board. I mean, and that's and I'm okay with that in some yeah. Yeah, but th that's even weirder to me because it's a publication and obviously they're getting ad money. You know, N not unlike the lobbyist situation in our own government, but it's that's but, completely uh, fine. That's fine. That's um, fine. But, I don't even yeah. touch that. I can't wait to really? get that lobby sweet right. cash one that's day weird. for me. Man. I can't, I can't like, come on, roll that dice. Come on, Taylor, um, you can do it. I just want a, I just want a little piece. I just um, want some of that lobby money. Yeah, no. But it is weird. It is weird that you're a magazine and you, you take ads for and you have this huge ad and then you have a cool, great review. I know, because <laughs> I, I, I do. I remember like reading, like, I think it God, was it Rolling Stone or Spin? I can't remember. They'd have like the little album reviews in the back, like back when magazines were a thing. Yeah. And I remember reading them and there'd be some albums that got like trashed. Yeah. I mean, some of these iconic records that we love now are. are Superstar records that they were trashed, and 
Well, that's even weirder to me because that's so subjective. You yes. might literally think an album is trash that is great or vice versa. P part of my thing on the guitar reviews, like, you know, I there, <laughs> there's a pedal I want because it's like a Mike Campbell, Tom Petty thing that they used in a bunch yes. of later records. And I'm watching all these reviews and like, it sounds the same as everything, really. And it sounds great. And every pedal I look up like that sounds great. I mean, we're part of it is that we're in this era where there are a hundred pedals that do that thing and they all sound great. I know. Like, like you could almost go get any gear, learn how to use it, and sound great. <laughs> Except for a trash MIDI guitar. Play a real guitar. <laughs> but other, otherwise... I, I, uh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't played I it. I'm, I'm sure trying. there's a place. <clears throat> I'm trying <laughs> good point when you start talking when you guys are talking about album reviews yeah right so imagine if you are a publication say you're rolling stone and you're paid for your time to write a review on an album mm -hmm. you write the review the review is negative and the record label hits you with a lawsuit oh because you you've inadvertently well i mean there yeah right right but but there's no there was no contract between the record label and i don't and the think reviewer. the record label's ever paid right no right you get paid from rolling stone no so i think that that's a different situation yeah. i'd say that's totally different and, and it's the same too like even like in our stupid little youtube world that we live in like are some of our opinions on things have changed Yes. Over time, like there's certain yeah. guitars, like I love seeing guitars that were maybe dunked on back in the day come back in vogue later, and like, hey, there's guitars I didn't like back when I was younger that I think are the bomb now. Well, there's all sorts of stuff like that. Amps, said guitars, the pedals, the bomb. I was also watching D'Angelo videos yeah. last night, so I can't really. I need <laughs> therapy. Apparently, there's a there's a ton of great guitar things you can learn from D'Angelo records. Are there? The old Neo Soul little. I mean, uh, it was amazing like music. I was like, yeah, God, Lord. I forgot how good it's these a whole songs were. Way of approach how things. Does you know? feel? God, I was, I was so. singing that all night in my sleep. There you By go. myself, alone, thinking about D'Angelo therapy. Well, so let us know your thoughts and like, then, and where you find your trust reviews and like, share that on the on the comments below too. Like, who you like, who's straight, who's even, who's not. Yep. Um, and just in the fun you have doing it. And if you do your own too, share those. You can add the little links if you want to in the comments like so other people can find it and journey around and enjoy that. It's, it's true. It's kind of nice. I think that's helpful. I think I've really enjoyed this conversation it's today. It's been fantastic. It's been a fantastic conversation. I hope you've enjoyed fantastic. it too. Fantastic. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you have like a wonderful day. It's not too cold out there. If it is, like put a little jacket on. A little jacket on. A little sweater maybe, a little sweater vest. Ooh, Ooh. sounds nice. A, nice a little stripe on it, like a little peanut stripe. That reminds me of the little, um, what's the guy, the uh, the meme, it's a nice day for a light sweater, a nice day for a cardigan. I don't even know what you're talking name? about. Uh, what's the guy's name? The uh, the Rebel oh. Yell. What's his name? Oh, Billy Idol? Yeah, it's, it's it's you know. Anyways, I was thinking you about, guys know what meme I'm talking about. I was about. thinking about like just Weezer for some reason, like Buddy Holly. Yeah. But um, Different thing. I'm going to go. I'm going to say click like and subscribe. Hit the old bell. If you dare. If you dare. And um, check out some of Johnny's new demos on our channel, too. They are fantastic. More coming. And I'm going to go home now. Yep. Peace be with you all. And to all a good day.